Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we're going to be jumping straight into the Bitcoin chart in front of our eyes. I'll be going over exactly how I am trading this. We'll be going over the more lower term time frame day trader setups of what we can be looking for over the next few days and the weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to love this video and I am honestly very much looking forward to giving it to you. We're going to be going over with evidence in front of your eyes. I know for a fact we got two massive groups of people right now. You got the group of people that are ultra bearish, failed auction off the high, fake out where we're about to see a massive crash down to $15,000, right? Failed auction, $15,000 is incoming. You got another group of people that have just seen this as a continuation of bullish market structure. They're actually looking for thirty, forty thousand dollars, and this is just a simple, you know, fake out of the high, coming down, holding up into our overall higher lows, and we're about to blast off to the moon, right? You got that two stark different opinions: the failed auction, ultra bearish guys, and you got the, you know, higher low, keep on running this up to the moon type of people. And I am going to explain to you in this video of why we don't need to be in either of those groups. Guess what? Because we can be in the group of people that are making profits right now. So if you want to make profits right now, pay attention to this video because I'm going to be giving you that secret key. CC Paul <laughs> is on the shirt. We're ready. We're waiting. And let's crush this market together. So. As I mentioned to you, it doesn't matter whether we're off to thirty, forty thousand dollars. It doesn't matter if we're down to fifteen thousand dollars. What matters is what we can do right now to make profits. Okay, so it's like I actually posted here over on Twitter, right? I post this uh, Bitcoin range inside of my champions group and say really simply, okay, this was posted yesterday at eight a.m. Okay, so I really simply post this chart to my group and I say get ready. And the only trade that we're looking at next is either a short off of the swing failure pattern of the range high, a long off of the swing failure pattern of the range low. Okay, and I say to you here, have a guess what happens next. I post this range to my group, specifically say, get ready for a swing failure pattern. We've got a short if we swing failure pattern the high. We've got a long if we swing failure pattern the low. What I wanna really emphasize here is the advantage of recognizing this range before everybody else. By recognizing this range before everybody else, we're already ready and waiting for our next trade here locally. And again, it doesn't matter whether we've seen the failed auction and we're going down to $15,000. It doesn't matter if this is a simple, you know, continuation of bullish market structure, a bit of a fake out of the range high, but we're still continuing higher to $30,000, $40,000. You can understand how it really doesn't matter at this moment in time. What matters is this is the range. We know where our next short is off of the swing failure pattern of the high, and we know where our next long is off of the swing failure pattern of the low. Simple as that. We're focused on making profits right now, okay? And this is what happens next. We start to form some bearish CVD divergences locally within the range, right? You can see here, lower high here, we're actually seeing a lot of longs open and it gives us some bearish divergences. Of course, this makes us think that we're gonna get a little bit of a pullback before taking that high and that is what happens, okay? Over the coming hours, you can see how here is where we had the bearish CVD divergences. And what happens if we come down to a lower term time frame? it's even clearer. We get a pullback here. So those CVD divergences did play out. They come down and we'd simply take out this low. Okay, well we come down to that low. And we come down to that low and then we get a bit of a increase in price. To give us what? It gave us the swing failure pattern of the range high. So what is that? It is a short trade entry. Okay, it's exactly what we were looking at. The exact range. Okay, we're short if we get a swing failure pattern of the high. Okay, we've recognized this range early, so now let's trade it. We get a simple swing failure pattern of this range high. So what happens next? You enter a short trade. You come down to the middle of the channel, you get a retest, and eventually we come down to the low of our range. So you can hopefully guess what that means next. Okay, we've obviously had the swing failure pattern, we had a bearish third touch setup, and absolutely wonderfully, we continue to make our way down, we make our way down, we're remaining patient, and we're looking, guess what? For a really simple swing failure pattern of the range low. And that is what we got here, my friends. Ladies and gentlemen, we had a swing failure pattern of the range low. Easy when you know what you're doing, right? I even then go on to tell my team exactly where I'm looking for my take profit one, and that is the middle of the channel. So you can understand here, I'm telling my team where my take profit one is. If I am wrong and we fall down from here, well, I simply lose that 
long trade. I get stopped out of it, right? Because it hasn't hit my take profit one target. I'm telling my team my take profit one is above these highs, okay? This was around 6 p.m., okay? Around 6 p.m., I'm telling this to my team. Well, we end up hitting that high of the middle of the channel, as you can see here, okay, it hit at 10 p.m. So at 10 p.m., a few hours later, we move on and we hit that lovely take profit one. From here, we get a little bit of a decrease in price. We come down and take this low. And now, really simply, we are, look at this, even wonderfully, as I'm speaking right now, we are range bound. We've went from the low, we've went from the high, which was a short trade. We've went down to the low, which was a long trade. So now, guess what? We're in that long trade and we're really simply continuing to trade this range until it breaks. Okay, when it breaks, we're aware of our next level to the upside. And if it does break to the downside, we're aware of our next level to the downside, right? But really simply right now, we have this range to be trading. It was recognized before everybody else. We took that trade, we're making profits. We took a short off the swing failure pattern of the high. We took a long off of the swing failure pattern down here of the low. We locked in take profit one off the middle of the channel. And here we are continuing the rise as we currently speak. And I just wanna really emphasize the important factor here that I wanna get through to you in this video. And it's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to us if you really seriously understand trading. It does not matter whether we're about to hit and rise to $30,000, or we're about to crash and hit $15,000. Why? Because we can trade this internal range we can have a short from the high, we can have a long from the low. And we, while everybody else is worried or scared about what's gonna ha happen next, they're anxious, you know, they're sick in their stomach, they're really confused about what's happening right now, they simply don't understand what's happening and they really have no idea what's happening next. While everybody else is wondering and thinking, oh, what are we about to pump, are we about to dump? I'm coming in here, I'm saying, this is the range to trade, short the high, long the low, and while everybody else has been worried, anxious, under, you're simply not understanding. We've made a 5% short trade to the downside. And now this long trade from low to high has already risen by 4%. As you can see, let's just say that nets around 5% profit once we've, uh, you know, took into understanding the take profit one and some of the fees. We've, we've netted at the very least now 5% profits. And let's say, for example, we get a massive pump from here and we go to $30,000. Well, that long can continue to run, stop the short, and then you make a lovely profit on that. Where if let's say we, we drop to $15,000, well, then that long can get stopped out, continue the short, and that continue to make profits, right? So we have to understand, if you really wanna make profits, you need to be ahead of the game, you need to get ahead of that curve, understand the ranges to trade before anybody else, understand where you want to long, where you want to short. When it comes down and hit those targets, take the trade with no hesitation. Understand where you want to lock in those take profits to protect yourself and then put yourself in this risk-free scenario where you're happy now if we pump or we're happy if we dump, okay? That is what we do at CC Bull. <laughs> we trade the charts, we crush the charts and we make profits on this market. Simple as that, ladies and gentlemen, simple as that. A little bit of a thing that I wanna to say to you is that I am interested in doing a video. Uh, of course, you may or may not know already, but I actually have several different multi-million dollar real estate companies set up across different countries around the globe. So it's kind of a, a pretty cool, uh, obviously it's cool for myself, that position that I've, I've managed to get in all from trading. That Trading is what made this possible for myself, by the way. I don't come from money. I didn't inherit anything. Everything that I have, I've worked extremely hard for. And with this money, you know, I've managed to set up a few different, um, you know, multi-million dollar real estate companies. So they're you know, this is what I'm interested in as well. And so I was asked the question, it would be fantastic if you could make a video where you compare real estate business and trading. I strongly believe there are huge similarities over the course of both. Um, you know, many, uh, maybe uh, a few traders in the whole of Twitter can talk about both business uh, and, and the unique position I'm in. I, I also agree there's not really that many people uh, that are in this position where they can directly correlate, you know, the understandings of trading, how I can move this. Of course, I could say they're successful businesses, right? <laughs> they're making money. Um, so I can talk about this if you're interested. And if you are, as I said, I want to put this over on the CC Pool channel, which is going to be more of this like in real life talking about, uh, 
you know, talking about things such as real estate, talking about investments, you know, maybe even some vlogs, etc. So if you want to get involved or, or follow along on that, then you can over on the CC pool, which is like our second channel now. And I'm going to be a little bit more active than that. I already know there's a little bit of commotion, right? Uh, and some people saying, uh, you know, basically hating on me because of me saying on myself. And my reply is always the same here, right? Am I really a bad person for working hard and making money from trading? Uh, that's something you can decide. You know, obviously I'm free to do whatever I want with my money. I've bought land, I've bought real estate, okay? I've made some businesses out of this. I also do spend time donating. I also do spend my time helping others, right? I think that's self it's right in front of you. These videos that I'm making, chart champions, what I do every day. This is giving back and helping. So you know, you know, I kind of struggle to understand this, this hate on me for, for having this. But nevertheless, the commotion aside, I'm going to do the videos and it will be over on that CC Paul channel. So you can subscribe to that if you're interested in that type of content. And as always, I'm doing my daily updates. Today, I've done a daily update live stream. So if you want to get in on that daily update, you can catch that over on the website now. Of course, on the website, you get the daily live stream updates. On top of that, we've got the Elliott Wave series out now. We've got the built-in journal on the website. You've got the new templates on Atis, Exo, Web. You've got the cheat sheets. You've got the glossary. You've got the speed run modules, five-minute condensed version of the overall course itself. So you've got everything that you need. Add on top of that the community, okay? Add on, on top of that the coaches only, read only channels. You're getting all this information before anybody else. You don't need to wait for the YouTube video. You've got that information right in front of you every single day in the live stream daily updates. On top of that, of course, we've got the whole educational course in front of you too. So thank you myself. Uh, I say, sorry, I say thank you to you watching this. And I was going to say myself and the other coaches, we say thank you. I hope that you've enjoyed. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you over on the Discord, which you can get to via chartchampions.com. My friends, CC Paul, love you all. Hope you've enjoyed. And yeah, while everybody else is worrying, let's just focus on the chart and let's make money. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.